Harwood State Representative Lillian Ortiz Self from the 21st District. Congratulations on being re-elected caucus chair for House Democrats. How different is it, you know, chairing the caucus for two years remotely and now in person with everybody in the rules room? Well, first of all, thank you for the congratulations. It is definitely an honor to be able to represent um, the members of this caucus. Um, and secondly, it is so exciting to be back in person. All my members are excited. Uh, you feel it um, as we're collaborating together. It's so nice to see each other again, work together. The collaboration is just wonderful and, and easier to do, obviously, when you're in person. So there's a lot of excitement going on right now. Workforce is a big top priority, this issue for your caucus. So, and you have a couple of bills at least that deal with specifically growing and strengthening the workforce. Can you talk to me about those bills? Yes, um, I'd like to say that, uh, first of all, you're right. Uh, our caucus is really looking at our economy and strengthening our workforce is a big part of that, especially in areas that are our essential workers, such as educators, uh, healthcare, nurses, child care providers, long-term care providers, behavioral health, all of those are big issues that were impacted by the pandemic and ones that we're hoping to address this session. Mine is on uh, education. As you know, as a school counselor, education is very dear to me. So looking at the educator workforce, and I'm introducing the Educator Workforce Act uh, to look at the recruitment and retention of our teachers. But you also have, you've been working on dual language for quite a few years now, and you have an, a new dual language bill. I do. As you know, in the past, uh, the dual language bills have been funded through grants, and they've been temporary in startup dollars for our districts. I am so excited to be partnering with OSPI and looking at bringing dual language statewide so that our goal is by 2040 that every school district will have at least one dual language program and that we will have the workforce to sustain it. And lastly, I just wanted to touch on the PAGE program. Now that we're back in Olympia, you want to, to have PAGES around. How does that work? You know, I love the curiosity that our PAGES bring to this place. They leave with so much knowledge. They come in here and they learn things that, that you can't always learn in a textbook. Um, some of my colleagues have been PAGES. Uh, the friendships and bonds that they build in their group, uh, I have heard from many that have lasted for years. Um, and they play a pivotal part of keeping our system going here. So if you uh, know anyone who is interested in being a PAGE, please contact our office. Tell them to contact our office because we would love to have them here.